Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Marshmallows Adventures and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this fleece dog harness. So this harness consists of a handle that goes that's in the back and it's got two D-rings that you can clip to anything or clip anything to and then it's got a buckle right here. So this is just what it looks like and in this video I only add two D-rings, but you can add one in the front, one in the handle. You can add whatever you want, but you can also customize them to be your own. So that one was orange and black, and then I have just this white and blue one. This one does not have the D-rings on it. As you can see, I have to add the D-rings on it, but yeah. So let's get on with the video. So the materials you're going to need for this is you're going to need a type of fleece or you could use felt, just any type of material. So this right here is just the nice material and then this one I wanted to use the white side. But I think I'm going to do red for this one. And then you will need any type of color of nylon webbing. So I just have some options here. I have black, I have pink yellow but I think red and yellow would actually look really nice I did want to do red and pink but I'm gonna go ahead and go with red and yellow then you're going to need a buckle this is the type of buckle I use and it just if I can get it done buckle that's what it so you're gonna need one buckle that's all I use I mean you can use more than one buckle for like something else, but I just use one buckle. And then you're going to need a, sorry, I just have all my hardware here. You're gonna need one strap adjuster. And then the D-rings, you can just, um, they're optional. You can have as many or as little as you want. So, not sure how many. You're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut your fabric, or you can use a rotary cutter if that's what you're, choices and then depending on how you are going to sew this I am hand sewing because my sewing machine is currently broken but if you are going to use a sewing machine you can just use regular sewing thread that matches your nylon webbing you want it to match your nylon but I'm going to go ahead and use embroidery thread and a needle um when hand sewing a tip if your dog's a big puller which these vests are not really recommended for dogs that are big pooler but so you're gonna need also an embroidery needle and then a measuring tape so the measuring tape is going to be to measure your dog's length and width so let's get on to making this then so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you are going to want to measure your dog um you're gonna want to measure them for how you need to cut the nylon so you're going to, she's sitting right now, but I already have her measurements, but you're going to want to measure her chest area and however long you want it to go back, like however far you want it to go back on the back, that's how far you want. And then you want to measure her girth, so um, like right around the, ar the um, like right around their shoulder area, armpit area. That's where you want to measure and then you can go ahead and cut your nylon and your fabric so with cutting the fabric wait with cutting the fabric i just have mine pre-cut already so i know her measurements but with the fabric you are going to want to cut the full length for the chest area but you're going to want to cut the nylon a little bit longer than what it actually is because you're gonna need to sew it. So I'm gonna, so if she is like 16 inches, I'm gonna go up to like 20 to give me extra room on each side and you'll see why later. So then for her back area, you're gonna wanna cut it to about from the shoulder to the other shoulder cause the whole fleece is not gonna go completely underneath her stomach. It's just gonna go on the top, so that's how you wanna cut it to where it's gonna be like this, but you do wanna cut the nylon long enough to do, you wanna cut the nylon long enough to 
to go around her whole stomach. So the first um, strap we're gonna do is we're gonna do the back strap. So for this, you're going to need your um, nylon, your buckle and your strap adjuster, and then your fleece. So you wanna measure the nylon to be longer than the fleece so that it can wrap around the stomach and clip on the other side. So her back width is like 16. My fleece is like 16. And then her girth I think was 22. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut extra to adjust it because it's gonna be adjustable. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut extra nylon to adjust the strap. So so with the nylon, I added about an extra eight inches um, onto this to adjust it. If you are making this for a puppy, I suggest adding more. If you're making it for a dog that's already grown, you can add like five inches extra. It's just up to you how much you want it to adjust. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that right now and I'll show you what to do after you cut it. So, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll out our nylon and measure it out so that we can go ahead and cut it. So I use my other harnesses for a reference, but you can measure your dog. And once you have their length down, it should be pretty easy. So I'm gonna go to about 34 and I just take my tape measure and slide it down till I hit my desired length again add like 10 inches for a dog that's like growing and then just a couple inches for a dog that's done growing I added just a couple of inches because your dog could put on a little more weight or lose it so just as a precaution add more so then you're gonna take one end of your nylon it doesn't matter and you're gonna slip it through your strap adjuster just like that and I am using a one inch nylon you can use whatever size nylon you want. If you're making it for a smaller dog, you could go with a half an inch or one fourth an inch. It's just a preference. So once you have your strap adjuster, it should look like this. And you want to fold this piece over and you're going to go ahead and sew along right here. I like to sew it. You can use hot glue. It's not going to be very sturdy. So I suggest sewing it. So I'm going to catch you guys when I'm done sewing this. So I finished sewing and as you can see you can't really see the stitching because it does match the color but I just sewed it. So now what you're going to want to do is you want to take the part that is this there's a flat side and there's a part where you sewed it. So you're going to want to go ahead and lay that down and you're going to want to go ahead and take your buckle and I, it doesn't matter which side you put on which, but I like taking this side. So we just have our nylon laid out. You want to make sure there's no curves. You're going to take your buckle and you're going to put it through the first loop. Yeah, you're going to put it through the first loop and you're going to come up and then you're going to go back down into the second loop like that so this is what the other side looks like and you're going to go ahead and pull all the way through and then you're going to pick up this side again and your strap adjuster you're going to go through like that and then you're going to go back down on the other side like this and you're gonna pull and you want to pull out any of the curves 
And we're gonna go ahead and just pull this some. So what you should have is you should have your buckle and then your strap adjuster and it should look like this. If you need to um, pause this to catch up or if you need to um, go ahead and rewind, then go ahead and do that. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and clip your buckles together so that you know that you have it the right way. And you want to go up above the buckle. And we're gonna go ahead and put it through like that. So that way when you sew, this will be what the inside is and this will be the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead. You don't wanna sew this yet. You wanna leave this part unsewn because we're gonna sew this later. So you're basically done with your strap so then what you're going to want to do again don't sew this it's very important don't sew it you don't have to sew this side either because the side's already attached we're going to go ahead and take our nylon and hopefully you've measured it to the right length again you want to measure it to just to where it only covers the back of your dog's back you don't want it to go underneath the stomach. You can have it go under the stomach, but I just have it go over the top. So I like having, you can choose how thick you want your fleece to be. This is the side I am using for the outside. So whatever your outside is gonna be, you wanna face that down just like that. So that the inside is going to be facing up because when you fold it over like this, this will be the outside, as you can see. So, again, you can choose how thick you want it to be, but once you have your desired width, you wanna go ahead and fold it over and make sure that it is straight. And you might have some pieces that don't completely touch, but that is fine. Then you're gonna wanna take your nylon, and it does not really matter which way you place it, but um, we're gonna go ahead and place our nylon down just like this. And you're gonna wanna move the strap adjuster. Let me scoot this. Oops, oops. You're gonna wanna move the strap adjuster to where it's down here because when you sew, you don't want the strap adjuster to be sewn on. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this down to where it is actually going past this just like that and then you want to line it up to where your fabrics meet and I like if you need to you can pull one side over some to make it match up more so that it is even the nylon is even so we're just so we're just lining it up like that then you can go ahead and take your nylon strap that you did and line it up and you're going to want to go ahead and sew all the way down on both sides so that it is attached you don't have to do anything with this right now we're going to go ahead and leave it like that and then with this when you're sewing you want to make sure to um sew this fabric down so if you do have pieces that don't touch you want to make sure that it is being sewn through the nylon so that you don't have any of the fleece coming up so then once you've sewn that when before you sew I like sewing this part first so with this part how we didn't sew it what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fleece and you're actually gonna fold this behind it so that when you sew this strap it is being sewn on the back too and in the front so you want the buckle, and I like leaving a little bit of room so that the buckle's not completely on the fleece. So I would say go about an inch and still have the nylon back like that. So then you can sew that there and then sew down here at the bottom. So I'm going to catch you guys when I have this sewn. So, so yeah. I have finished sewing all the way down. I sewed at the buckles here on both sides and I did the same with this side 
So as you can see, this is the back. It's completely sewn. And then this is the front. So then what you're going to want to do is you can sew this right now or you can wait to do it later. But you're going to want to sew this shut on both sides with a color that matches this and just kind of straighten them out. And then once you do that, you're going to want to get your other piece of felt and lay it down. And you're going to want to go ahead and cut your chest strap. So on this harness, the chest strap goes all the way across and connects at the bottom. So it connects here and here. So what you're going to want to do is in order for the nylon to go and meet this edge, you're going to want to cut about another inch to make it match up. So we're going to go ahead. What I like to do is you're going to want to measure their chest length and cut your felt to that. And this, you want the felt to completely cover. And then once you have that, go ahead and just add another inch or two on there so that you can sew and you can cut any extra off later and then yeah for my nylon and we're gonna cut there just like that then what you're gonna want to do is however thick you did this one you can either use a measuring tape to measure so mine is about almost like three inches thick it's a little less than three inches it's two and a half inches long so that's a good length for me if you're making this for a bigger dog I would suggest maybe making it a little bit thicker if you're doing this for a smaller dog you can go smaller but so you're gonna want to have this pretty close and on hand so that you can go ahead and fold this over and match it up with this length because you want them to be the same thickness. So that's a pretty good thickness. Maybe come in a little bit more. Sorry. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our we're gonna go ahead and take our nylon and we're gonna lay it down to where there's about an inch or two hanging off of each side. So I have about an inch there and about an inch there. It doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to measure it, but we're just going to do that. So then once you've got this, you can go ahead and sew like you did this one. You're going to want to sew at the edges and on the other side and sew all the way down. So I'll catch you guys when that is done. So once you've gotten this completely sewed and you have both pieces done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line this part. You want to take the back strap from the chest strap and take one side and you're going to want to line it up along here just like that. And you're going to want to sew and you're going to want to sew here, sew all along here and right here. And then you're going to want to do that to the other side. And you're going to want to line it up. And then sew again. So I'm going to catch you when I'm done doing that. So I have finished sewing all along here and here. And then we have this side. And as you can see, these edges were rough in the beginning. But I ended up just trying to line them up the best as possible. So you should have basically something that looks like an L with like two sides, like a two-sided L in your buckle. So the last step that we need to do, let me show you my other one, is we need to add handles, a handle onto this, just like this, and you can add D-rings, as many as you want in whatever places. So I'll go ahead and show you how I did that. But we're gonna take the handle now and this is just a personal preference basically on the handle you just want the handle to be long enough to be sewn from here to have 
like a handle space and then here so on this harness if I get my measuring tape I have the handle, the actual handle part, so starting from like here, is about 14. So the handle's about 14 inches, the actual handle part. The nylon that I cut is 24. So we're gonna go ahead and, I like that handle size. For me so i'm gonna go ahead and measure 24 and as you can see i'm running out of nylon so i'm not going to use the whole thing to make a handle because i do want some nylon to make the d-rings to add on to there so once you've gotten your nylon cut you're going to want to go ahead and sew it and how i sewed it is i made a um, I made it angled and just sewed it along here in a box position. You can see the green. And then come up here and you're going to want to follow this nylon and sew along here in kind of like a triangle. And then you kind of just let the nylon hang over and you sew it there and there again in the same places to where you have your handle. And I like leaving a little bit of space here because I think it looks nicer and um, I like it like that. You don't have to leave the little opening, but that's what I did. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done sewing it. And it doesn't really matter how high up or how far up you go. I just, you can go like this far up depending on where you want the handle to be. I go to about maybe like a couple, maybe like four or five inches away from the side. This one right here is, yeah, five inches away from the beginning. So we're gonna go to like right here and we'll go ahead and sew that on just like that. And then we'll bring it up here. So I'll catch you guys when I'm done sewing that. So if you, once you have finished sewing on the handle, your harness should look like this. And at this point, it's pretty much done. You can just take any extra nylon that you have and slip a D-ring on there. And then you just sew right here. And sew like right underneath the handle. Um, or you could add D-rings on the front. But if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time.